What's going on guys? It's your boy Crazy Spartan here. And as always, before I get started off with the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been offering on the channel. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me to know that you guys are supporting the you know, channel the way you are. So keep it up, and I'll make sure to keep uh, putting out the content. But regardless of that, uh, this is going to be a build video uh, surrounding one of the greatest players to ever do it in the game. Uh, Kobe Bryant uh, as you guys you know know obviously uh, Kobe Bryant was um, killed in a helicopter accident uh, today as I'm recording this video um, and it's you know rather unfortunate uh, and his daughter was also uh, killed in the process along with I think it was three other people uh, so sh you know prayers go up to all those who lost their lives uh, that day and um, you know um, prayers go out to them regardless of that uh, this is the 8th version of the Kobe Bryant build right here uh, so this is uh, Afro Kobe this is you know um, okay this is um you know uh, dunking on people Kobe jumping over people Kobe uh, this this guy right here was lethal. We all know how lethal number eight Kobe was. Uh, don't mind my face. Don't mind my character model. Uh, it's all about the build and it's all about the player, right? But regardless of that, uh, we're going to make him a slashing playmaker. All right, this build is a, you know, uh, Kobe was, you know, one of those guys who slashed to the rim but he used his speed to his advantage and he just you know uh was a really good dribbler as well as a pretty good finisher so we're gonna go with this pie chart right here uh the half play making and the half finishing chart now for the physicals obviously kobe uh when he wore that number eight jersey man this dude was jumping out of the gym he was extremely quick and uh you know all that right so, I think the one we're going to go with uh, probably might be this one right here because, I mean, but then again, I don't know. He was extremely fast, but, I mean, he could jump. So, we're going to go with this one. We're going to go with the first pie chart there. Now, for his attributes, though, uh, you want to put up all of his finishing. All right. You want to put up all of his shooting because we need all the shooting badges we can get. Uh, we're going to put up some of his playmaking badges, and then we're going to do uh, his perimeter defense, his lateral quickness, his steals. Um, maybe we can do uh, that one to 50. Uh, we're going to do his blocks to 50. I don't believe uh, we're going to get... Oh, we get two defensive badges? Let's go. All right, cool then. Uh... Oh, we get five defensive badges. All right, so cool. So I think, in my personal opinion, this was the build uh, that I feel like resembles Kobe. Uh, you know, he was pretty good on defense. He was, you know, super duper quick. Uh, he could pass the ball as well. He was a playmaker. Uh, he could shoot the, the ball decently. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, he shot 30 I think it was 34% from the three on his career and like 48, 49% from the field on his career. So he was a really good shooter. And then, you know, uh, high flyer, right? All right, so as as we're looking right now, we're looking at a total, what is that, 31 plus 20, that's 51, 56 badges. Uh, Kobe was kind of compact. He was a little bit bigger. Uh, he was six foot six. Uh, but now here's where things can get, you know, kind of iffy, uh, you know, uh, as far as his weight goes. Kobe was, I think he was 6'6", 220, I think he was. Uh, but if you make him 220, then, you know, he obviously loses that speed or that acceleration, that vertical. Uh, so we're going to drop that to 200 pounds. I mean, you know, he's still looking good in every single category. He can jump out the gym with the best of them. He can dunk. Uh, he's super duper quick, so we're going to go with that. As far as his wingspan goes, uh, you need, you know, obviously Kobe had some long arms, but I think 
uh, we need all the shooting that we can get on this build right here. Now, as far as the takeover that you want, uh, it, it's all personal preference. I mean, if you want to model this build after Kobe, uh, I think he was a slasher when he was, you know, uh, rocking that number eight jersey because anytime he got the chance to posterize somebody, he did. All right. Uh, but, you know, when we get to the number 24 part of the build, uh, obviously he became more technical. He became more proficient at scoring in the post, doing post fades, uh, taking difficult shots, uh, all that sort of stuff. So we're going to go with the slasher part of it. Uh, and we should get a slashing playmaker similar to my boy Kobe Bryant. Yes, sir. I love it. But regardless of that, uh, we're going to go on ahead test the build out. I'm going to show you guys the, the badges that we're going to go with here. Um, Alright, so cool. Uh, now, uh, i seen Jack Bill do this in one of his videos. He did test out the build at a 95 overall. Uh, I feel like a lot of you guys should be, you know, pretty, pretty decently able to get to a 95 overall. Uh, but I mean if you can get to a 99 these are what his stats look like uh, 90 speed 88 acceleration 77 vertical, which is still pretty decent uh, So we're gonna go with the 99 overall for his uh, for this build right here now uh, His playmaking or his finishing right obviously uh, Contact finisher Hall of Fame easily right he was dunking over people relentless finisher one of those badges, contact or a consistent finisher. Um, you know, uh, I don't want to say back down punisher. Maybe he had it on silver. Maybe I want to say. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna put that one uh, as well. Um, and then maybe you could do slithery finisher, but I don't want to do that because I mean, I mean yeah, Kobe was a, a pretty uh you know good finisher around the rim he was able to avoid contact but my boy kobe bean bryant wasn't trying to avoid contact he was trying to create it you know what i'm saying uh so i guess i guess we're gonna go with lob city finisher because he could catch lobs with the best of them and uh he could just do whatever he wanted to whenever he wanted to so we're gonna confirm that then for a shooting uh quick draw is one of those badges it's a must Range extender is one of those badges as well. Uh, then we're going to go uh, with difficult shots. Uh, that's too easy. Kobe, uh, even earlier on in his career, he still took pretty difficult shots and he was still able to make them. Um, Deadeye could be another badge you can make for him. And then uh, catch and shoot. You know what I'm saying? You can either go... Uh, Bronze Dead Eye and Gold Catch and Shoot, or you could do two silver badges. You could do uh, Gold Dead Eye with Bronze Catch and Shoot. It doesn't really matter, all right. Uh, but for the sake of balancing, you know, uh, the build, we're gonna go with the two silver badges. Now we can equip five Hall of Fame playmaking badges, all right. So we're gonna go with a quick first step. Kobe was extremely quick off of his first step when he was wearing that number eight jersey space creator just because Kobe had the ability to create space whenever he wanted to and get to his spot right uh, then we're gonna go with unpluckable right you know just for the playability of this build uh, and you know Kobe didn't really turn the ball over that much uh, so we're gonna go with that one um, Let's see. Uh, we could go... What's another badge that really resembles him as a player? You could go with Floor General, but I don't think his game when he was, you know, uh, you know, wearing number eight, I don't think he was a Floor General, m more, more or less. I think, you know... Um, his ability to stop and go with the ball was really good. Um, and then... Um, and then I want to say... We can do... 
We could do post spin technician. Why not? I mean, Kobe was, you know, he was a beast in the post. He could hit a spin on you in a matter of seconds. And uh, I think that I think that badge mirrors him, all right? Uh, we're going to put clamps on gold. Uh, Kobe was a really uh, good defender. Um, and, you know, why not, right? Because... You know that's that's his that's his play style, right? He was a pretty good defender. He could get in your skin. Uh, as far as his second badge, you could do pickpocket. You could do intimidator. Uh, you could do lightning reflexes uh, because Kobe's you know ability to read uh, the pass before it even comes uh, was you know second to none. Uh, but I feel like we're gonna put intimidator for that one. So. For the breakdown, we have nine Hall of Fame badges. We have four gold badges. Uh, we got, what is that, four silver badges. And we don't have any bronze badges. So uh, that's the way the build's looking, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on your post notifications so that way you don't miss a video when I upload. And as always, you guys... Uh, Y'all stay motivated, stay dedicated, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace out.